We're now going to move on and think about the sites in the body in more detail. And we've already seen on those uh, slides of severe pressure sores, the back of the skull, the bone of the back of the skull forming pressure with the surface it's lying on. Scapulars are also quite bony. And the vertebral column, of course, the protruding parts of the vertebrae here, can all give points of pressure. Go on the pelvic bones, especially with the patients lying on the side, the iliac crest is a form of uh, bony pressure. And actually all of the sacral area is, of course, all of this area. And particularly when patients are sitting, these parts at the bottom here referred to as the ischial tuberosities, the, 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 it's the pressure of the body is transmitted through these sm fairly small bones here in a sitting position, when the patient's in a sitting position. I think you can see here another point, the greater trochanter of the femur. The outer part of the knees here. And of course, when the knees are pressed together, the knees can, uh, the, the inside of the knees can also be affected by the knees being pressed together and the pressure of the weight of the legs. Legs are actually quite heavy, being transmitted through these relatively small parts of bone, compressing the tissues on the surface of these small parts of bone. The calcaneus in the heel bone, again a fairly narrow area for the weight of the leg. And the other one's often referred to as the uh, <coughs> heel bones, but in actual fact it's the lower part of the fibula and the tibula, uh, the malleolus, the lateral malleolus on this side and the medial malleolus on that side. All fairly small areas where pressure is transmitted. And of course we could have mentioned other areas like the elbow as well. Let's just review that now in an outline of the body, looking from the back. The occiput or the occipital bone. <coughs> that sort of area at the back of the head. Spinal processes up and down the vertebral column. Scapula. The shoulders, and if you feel your elbows, of course, they're very bony. So elbows, the sacral area, the iliac crests on the outside here. The ischial tuberosities at the base here, transmitting the weight of the body while sitting. The knees, particularly the side of the knees. The heel and the side of the foot. Classic pressure points where pressure sores may develop. So finally thinking about sites, let's look at the results of a survey on the incidence of pressure sores in particular sites. Of the total amount of pressure sores identified, 3% affected the arms, 21% the trunk, 31% the sacral area, 27% different places on the buttocks, 5% effect of the legs, and 20% the heels, which are the most common areas, the sacrum, the buttocks, the, then the heels. <coughs>